Hello, my dear Scorpios. How are you doing? Uh, we're going to get into your reading here. Um, just to get into um, for your reading for April 3rd, uh, 2024. Keep in mind the roles can be reversed in the readings. And also uh, the eclipse are coming, at, are coming up and Mercury retrograde. So you're going to feel an intense in your frustrations, um, especially for Scorpios. So let's see what's coming up for you, Scorpio, in love or finances and career. So if you'd like a personal reading, reach out to me and I'll be glad to connect with you on your personal level. Look in the description box and I'll be glad to help you with your situation and hopefully give you good advice. And uh, thank you so much, Scorpio, for being here. You're the best people in the world. Keep your head up. Keep shining. You're a beautiful light. Okay, so let's get into what is going on with Scorpio. All right, the high priestess is here, saying for you to follow your direction, uh, follow your feelings, follow your, let's see here, tower moments here. All right, Scorpio, what I'm getting here is that there's a, in, it's a something that has not closed out yet um, from the high priestess is following your feelings. Is this chapter really over or not? Now, this could be coming from your person. So, um, that looks like they're still invested in this and somewhat. They're trying to find a way to balance out the scales with you. But the tower moment is here for a reason. Why is this tower moment here, Spirit? All right. This emperor here that you're dealing with, um, you're trying to make a decision. Maybe this emperor that you were dealing with is also receiving some karma here. Um, they are, or they're thinking, trying to make a decision about you. Um, they feel like you are upset, you're mad, and you just broke up with them. Okay? That's what I'm feeling about immediately. They are feeling like you are their queen of cups. You are, They do want this relationship with you. They do want to build with you. This foundation of a relationship, but the eight of wands is here is in reverse. So there's very slow movement here that, that your person is not... Um, bring it into your life right now. This person could have been playing, you know, well, I would say not playing, but they really owe you some kind of big apology here. Um, they may have just been trying, feeling defeated here with you, Scorpio. They feel like there's nothing more that they can, you, or there's nothing more that you can do because I feel like you've done everything for this person or they've done everything for you, you know? Um, but they do, I do see them still hanging on to this relationship. They want to be with you. All right. So let's see this page of pentacles. Why is this page of pentacles here? Okay. Oh, that's why. They want to come back and apologize because they did put you into a um, third party energy. And it looks like it, here, it could have been a friend of family members or it could have been another person. And it could have been someone that um, caused problems and conflict with you. And you had a problem with this, something about, you know, you put this person back um, in a hermit mode. They're being by themselves, your person. They're want to, they're thinking things over. They're thinking about, um, I feel like you felt like this person was betraying you. Um, they're not coming forward, offering anything. So they're very upset with you too, Scorpio, because you caused this tower moment. So why is the... They just don't want to fight with you. They don't want conflict. But you know what? This person did this. This is their problem. It's not your problem, Scorpio. They put you in this energy that, you know, you're following what your intuition is telling you. You felt like this person had some things and going on behind your back. You felt like this person was doing things that sh they shouldn't have been doing. Um, but they still see you as a person that they want to be with. All right. So... In their energy, Scorpio, they are feeling like they don't still want to fight with you. They still have hope for this. You might not have hope for this. You might not said, you know what? I'm tired of your mess. I'm tired of you bringing me drama here with third parties. You're mixing me in with other people. You're putting me in a situation. I'm not going to be in a situation ship. I'm not going to um, allow you to do that. And that's what they got upset for because you decided to do what's best for you. Right? So, let's see what their um, outcome is going to be for their energy. What, what are their intentions with Scorpio at this point? Angels with the Nine of Wands. They have hope for this. They may have been playing mind games with you before, but they kind of know they got to stop. Because you blew up. 
I don't know why this person, and you have this third party, they put you in this middle of this third party. All right, they're making plans here, Scorpio, to kind of come back and we're making a decision as well. They're making some type of plans. What are the plans? Um, they're showing that they love you. Okay, people who love you don't do this kind of thing, right? Does this person even know what love is? Okay, let's see what your feelings are towards this person. What is Scorpio's feelings towards this person? You still have some passion for them. You haven't, you're not over this yet. You haven't kind of burned us down yet, but you're unhappy. You are, you know, the Nine of Cups energy in reverse. Um, this could have been like a codependent. This person was trying to make you become codependent on them to make them, to make you attached to them, emotional attachment because they, you, you felt this feelings for them. Maybe you had a lot of feelings for them and they knew it and they try to make you feel codependent and you could be codependent without even realizing you're codependent. Um, but you do have the, Ten of Wands in reverse. You're just not want to str deal with this anymore. You're not stressing over it. You just don't want to do do what they. You really wanted this to end, but it seems like this person does not want it to end. They don't want it to end. All right. So let's see what your outcome for you. This person's energy. Well, I want to know who is this three three of cups. All right. This three of cups are having a bad time with. Who is this Three of Cups with the Six of Swords in reverse? They're working. So they might be financially taking care of this person. Queen of an Empress. Alright, someone came in between you two. Because they do see you as the Emperor and the Empress. They feel like they belong with you. But they can't leave this other person. Because financially, they're make it, trying to make this decision, but they do love you here, Scorpio, or you still have feelings for them. So what does this person want with Scorpio? Okay, get my cards together. What does this person want with Scorpio? What does this person want with Scorpio? They want to move forward with you, Scorpio. For what? They want to heal everything. They want to fix this. And they want to marry you? What? Two of Cups? What's the Two of Cups here? They want to grow this. They're coming back too. But they do have some things they're still hiding that they have. They have not come completion to tell you. Why's the Moon card here? Why's the Moon card here? King of Wands. This person has a lot of passion for you. You just got to be careful about this King of Wands because they do feel um, a lot of passion for you. And they're hiding it. And whoever this third party is, they're, they're not attracted to this person. And they just don't want to deal with this. Uh, so what are they going to do with this third party? Okay, they're manifesting you back or you could be manifesting them. In your thoughts and feelings. So be careful with that, Scorpio. If you do not want this person back with a retrograde here, you had to do some saging or something if you're cleansing. Okay, burn some white candles or something to, for your peace. Okay, let's ask. Let me get another deck. Uh, why is this? What about this third party? What is this person, Scorpio's person, doing with this third party? They're financially taking care and working and taking care of somebody, but this has caused a some type of um, chaos in their house with this third party. What is the? Yeah, they're going to leave this third party. They don't want to be with this third party. All right. So I do feel like this person's in love with you, Scorpio. They do feel it for you, but there's something like you cannot get off. This cannot get off the ground because of the third party here. Okay, what's their intentions? All right, let's see. Let's ask. What is Scorpio's outcome with this person? What is Scorpio's outcome with this person? What's the Scorpio's outcome with this person that they're thinking of? Now this is for a general read. 
like a personal reading, reach out to me in the description box. Now, this person kind of led you down a rabbit hole, it feels like, and they were juggling you within that, that third party. Uh, they're trying to get over it. They're trying to come to an understanding that they have made you feel like they didn't choose you. They put you in this third party energy, or it could be their job. Yeah, they're not speaking to you right now. Um, Twin of Cups is in reverse. High Priest is in reverse. Um, they, they are, with this third party, they don't have any feelings for this person. They're not talking to you because of that. And the Queen of Cups High Priest is they have no feelings for this person, this Queen of Cups that they're with. But they do see you as the Empress. So this person got some kind of situation where they know, or they may have gotten caught. Yeah, they're codependent. Somebody's here is codependent too. And the Page of Wands, they can't talk to you because there's a unhappiness and a lot of destruction. And they could be the magicians in reverse too. Somebody could be manipulating somebody. But I feel like they could be man manipulating you or this third party. And there's the Three of Swords. They were in that third sword. So they're trying to get out of this third party codependency. And this is the Tornado again. There's the Six of Swords. You had it up here on Six of Swords. And so whoever this Queen of Wands is, they're not, not willing to work with this Queen of Wands. They don't want this Queen of Wands. So they... But they're working. You know, they're working on their money, their pinnacles, their ideas, their, their plans... Lots of three of pentacles here. Yeah. They do feel like there's some things that you said. I told you they're working here. And this break that you're on, they are just very miserable right now, Scorpio. And there's a judgment card in reverse. They just um, are in this situation where they, they put you into it. Um, they just feel like, you know, they just try to work it out. They wanted their cake and eat it too. They wanted both of you because on one side they had the stability and safety and working and the household and all that. But here on this side, they're looking like, okay, I want Scorpio because Scorpio is more prettier. Scorpio is nicer to me. Scorpio is better in intimacy, all those kinds of things. So they wanted both of you is what I'm hearing. Who will they choose? So they don't have any feelings for this Queen of Cups that they're living with. They feel, they feel like this Queen of Cups are with. It's not being nice to them. They're feeling, yeah. So the Wheel of Fortune, they're going to move towards you, Scorpio, with the Wheel of Fortune. But they still have some secrets and lies. to tell. They're, they're going to fill your head up. And I feel like this person needs money for some reason or a place to stay or something to do with finances. And they might be using you as a backup plan in case they leave this situation to have a home to go to. Mm hmm But I think you cut this person off. Yeah, I believe you just kind of did away for this hot mess. This is a mess. This is, you know, I don't understand why people go out here and mess around and get in people's lives and make them develop feelings and then leave them. Yeah. So he's he's going to try to come back and stabilize this with the Ace of Cups. There's so you, they want to move forward here. Forward movement. Forward movement. So you're going to see some change in this person. But I don't think you want this person because of what they've done to you, Scorpio. And the, how they have treated you and and put you on the back burner for so long. This has been going on for some time here. Because it's not a pinnacles up here saying I'm being super, 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 super slow. I am not going to offer anything. I'm not going to offer apologies. And this person is very stuck in their ego and their selfishness. But they are trying to move their way back towards you. But I think you're just done. You're just like, oh gosh, no, I can't do this anymore. You're too much. You're like a full-time job. I don't want to be able to be with you because you make me tired. And that's how it feels. They're making you tired. They brought stress. And you were trying so hard with them. But you don't want to do this anymore. You're like, 
I'm done with that situation. Let me know in the comments if this is true or not for you. Give me that thumbs up. And for likes, I show the loveness on and your kindness by giving that thumbs up. And also, Scorpio, if you like and subscribe to your channel, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe button. And uh, if you like a personal reading, reach out to me. And so send in love and like. This is what I have for you, Scorpio. Stay blessed. Stay happy. And keep moving forward. And I will talk to you soon. Love you, Scorpio. Bye-bye.